number one, you're trying to secure the early game. You're trying to secure that first 15 minutes in the game for your carry, who is in this particular case is going to be a Sven. So what you, Sven and, uh, uh, did this go? Uh, I'm not sure if he went exhort. Oh, I think he did go exhort. It looks like he, hmm. I, I can't tell because his items are neither exhort nor, uh, I don't know. So what you're trying to do, either regardless, is you're trying to make space. That's number one. You're trying to make space, secure the early game for your cores, relieve pressure off of them. Yeah. Uh, you do have a axe, most probably in the jungle. So um, that that means that that's uh, one person off the map, really. So you guys are fighting four v five. It looks like all these guys yeah. are all five of them are in the lanes. So already as it is. Uh, you guys have got pressure on you. So what your job is supposed to be as Spirit Breaker is relieve that pressure. Now, uh, it's really beneficial for Spirit Breaker to be constantly ganking mid because it's a 1v1 yep, yep. matchup and having one person there and one person who is Spirit Breaker who's like 17% bash every single time. You know yep. you know how that works, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, so that's, that's how you basically secure the mid uh, early game for your mid laner, you destroy the enemy mid laner, and then you can mm. obviously uh, keep charging the off lane as well, keep putting yep. pressure on the off lane as well. So yep. it looks like in this particular case, it's going to be either a PA mid, which is most likely, or it could be a Stark mid, which is quite unlikely. But against uh, Invoker, it's going to be most, most likely PA mid. And PA does sort of destroy Invoker. Actually, not sort of. Uh, I've played PA versus Invoker as PA, um, I think, uh, three times in the past two weeks. And mm -hmm. I've destroyed Invoker every single time. So, yeah, I've had the same experience. Yeah, and it's it doesn't take a skilled PA player to destroy Invoker because all you really need uh, to do even, is throw Even when the Invoker buys Wand, I still find I can easily win the matchup. Yeah, no, no, no. Wand doesn't do anything for you uh, versus a PA because the damage because is Because he gets to level much. three dagger too quickly and then the the, the damage you get from the dagger far outweighs the the healing you get from the wand. Absolutely, like even one yeah. level in dagger is what is it seventy five base damage and then fifty percent regular damage. So fifty percent regular damage is twenty five. So let's say even if dagger stays at level one, that's a hundred damage every single time you throw dagger at level yeah. one. And wand only gives you fifteen health back. So yeah, <laughs> you can do the math. <laughs> yeah. So where, what am I looking at? Right, spirit breaker. So you're starting so items. Your starting items, you need a stout shield, yes. You need a uh, tango and salve, okay, yes. The only thing is I would have skipped these ironwood branches and I would have gotten... Uh, I don't think you would have had... How much money do you have? Why does it not say? All right. I would have skipped these ironwood branches. I would have got, yeah, gone phase. another... Yeah, yeah second uh, gauntlet. Okay. <coughs> what I was saying is, did you read the wiki page for Spray Breaker? Y yes, I did. All right, perfect. Right, so too much chase. Spirit Breaker can do a fair bit of chase because of his skills. Yeah, I was really hoping that um, I could just wear him down a little bit and he'd have to get back to, you know. Oh, um, oh I completely forgot actually. Instead of the two gauntlets, uh, hmm. I, I would have gone for a. Um, and also one, uh, skipped one, one healing salve. Uh, you wanted a. <sighs> The Orb of Venom, yeah. So oh, right. you, you want to start off with a Stout Shield, Orb of Venom, and then whatever money you have left, you want to put in, uh, invest it into Tangos, yeah, into Region. Well, uh, I, I'm not sure uh, how much money you have left. Um, let's let's do a quick. Stout is 200, and Orb of Venom is 275. 275 plus 200, so that's and that means tango. that means you have enough for one Tango. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So one tango. So, so that's, that's like it. an Ogre Magi build or something like that that, that, that does that too, isn't it? Or yeah, I, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, in, in fact, yeah, okay. Uh, because what you're trying to really do is you're trying to do as much damage to the enemy team. You're trying to use up all your mana, keep using Charge yeah. of Darkness, keep throwing out these, uh, being super aggressive. And when you run out of <laughs> mana, you can just uh, buy everything base. out. No, don't go back to base. Just deny yourself the neutrals. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's super. Right. Yeah, I always forget that you can do that. It's like yeah, it's, yeah, it's so counterintuitive, but it's it's yeah, you're right. I've got to learn when to do that at level yeah. one or two, right? It's quite good. 
uh, level one, two, or three even. At level okay. four, you uh, want to try to be like somewhere around over this line. So like if you are here or here to near these cramps, 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 uh, then it's okay because at level four you're dead. Four was it? Four, four was a sixteen plus five is about twenty one. So it does take more than twenty. So um, at level four, yeah, somewhere around around here because it'll take you about twenty seconds to get back to base, and it takes you twenty seconds to respawn as well. So okay. Yeah. Um, good thing to note also when you're about to uh, deny yourself is have a look at what your reliable gold is. If you've got any reliable gold. Yep. Um, then try not to spend that because you, it's not gonna, you're not going to lose that when you die. Okay. Anyway. I think I was thinking about charging Slark here to help the invoker. Yeah, you should have. You should have just gone for it. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, with, with, with Spirit Breaker, you I was get worried that. about like taking too much damage from the tower. That's the one thing I'm bad at judging with Spirit Breaker. The thing is, like, you don't really, you shouldn't really worry too much about taking damage because that's what you're trying to do. Uh, you've already got yeah. tons of uh, region now. One thing yeah. right here that you should have done when you're in the off lane, when you're playing dual or aggressive tri lane, uh, you should always try to utilize this stack, pull it to the side. Yeah. And um, I actually don't play off lane a lot or at all, yeah. so I am I don't remember what time it it's is. Like but 52, I think. Uh, maybe it is. I, I'm not sure, but. <coughs> But it's pretty much when the creep lane hits the tower, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. that was that's yeah, yeah. what I was about to say. Like what I usually do is I just check when the actually we can actually see, and right about now. So what is it? Fifty. So fifty is when you want to pull this. Mm. You pull it at fifty. You're not going to stack it, but you're going to deny the creep wave. Uh, some some of the creep wave at the very least, if yeah. not all of them. So I do uh, end up charging me. <laughs> all right. Uh, you could have charged a lot earlier, but yeah, yeah. that's fine. Nice. All right. So right here, what you should have done. Uh, never mind. Okay, you don't have stun. If you'd had level two, then when yep. you actually uh, went in and charged him, uh, I don't know if you do it later on in the game, and maybe it would have been better to actually wait and see. But uh, if you had level two, right here, you've stunned him. You've stunned him for one point two seconds. What you do is, oops. Uh, what you do is you walk. Yeah, you yep. walk in front of him. You not only block him. But you also have a chance to send him back, and also if you had if you had an orb of venom, then you were um, uh, you would you would have been able to slow him down as well a little bit. Yep. yep. Uh, right. So that kind of fails, or do you consider that a success? No, that's not a fail uh, at all. Okay. <laughs> that is a yeah. All right. Uh, you you managed to force Lark to use his. I believe it's his only region. Yeah, it's only region. And right now, what I would do is, uh, right now, I would just charge him again. again. Uh, uh, maybe I would have gone to the side here and then charged him to reduce the distance and reduce his the time that he gets to see me. Um, but just right, constantly harassing him. This is also a good. Yeah, this is also a good move. Like anytime you're charging, whoever you're charging, it's a good move. And you just come. Oh, just a little bit sooner. Oh wow, seventeen percent. Oh damn it! See if I had the uh, one he probably would have died. Hey, oh well. Maybe, maybe not. But so I'm like feeling sad is, here and running away. That's still fine. Uh, it's it's fine. It's fine. Now this is instead. All right. So this was a bad move. Using up your hundred gold. I was about to say hundred pound. Hundred gold self when you have mm. no mana at all and you're just level two, yep. what you should have done is you should have just gone Denied over here, bought your <laughs> yeah, bought your boots or whatever, uh, and gone on the, over here and denied yourself. So right now you will find that for the next, I don't know, what, a whole lot a whole lot of time, you are going to be pretty much useless. You can't charge anyone, yep. you can't do anything, you don't have an orb of enemy, you can't really chase people down. There is a tri lane here, and for some reason your Sven uh, your carry is in the off lane, and your off laner is in the carry lane all by himself, solo. Yep. Uh, doesn't make much sense to me, to be honest. I don't know why this is happening. I think I, I don't know. Don't, don't look for logic. <laughs> the, yeah. This guy, this this guy, it can <laughs> literally. I have seen this guy go one v three and get triple kills. Yeah. Right, and this is like five k bracket that I'm talking about. Hmm. And this is 3k bracket, this guy, and you know how he gets the kills? Just by standing there and doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I'm really surprised that okay. he chose to go against a solo weaver. Uh, yep. 
when he could have just gone here and I don't know, man. Okay, it's sad. so right now I'm thinking uh, it's time to charge now because I've got mana again and I'm going to kill the PA, I think. I want you to have a really good look at how much go mana you get from this 325 gold item. You have 0 0.7 regen and yep. after this you get 1.1 regen. Wow. That's a yep. 0 0.4 regen uh, per yep. second that you're getting. Uh, yep. That means 0 0.4 that means 0 0.4 times, yep. let's say, uh, in one minute, you get 24 regen. 24 mana. Yay. Okay, so all yeah. the I mean, um, the no, urn of yeah. shadows, isn't it? Yeah, not such a great item then. No, 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 no. Oh, urn is a good item. Urn is okay. definitely a good item. Urn is guaranteed a good item, but not going for a Sage's Mask first item. You... Uh, really okay. don't benefit much from the 50% mana region until you yep, get yep. somewhere around like 30, yep. um, 30%. Uh, and we're looking at the base int as well. We're not looking at the plus plus any because the Sobi Mask, I, I believe the Sobi Mask does not work on the um, on the added uh, int. It only works on the base int. Yeah. So you're looking for the 30-ish mark for your base int. Now imagine if you first go Boots, uh, regular boots, and then you buy the rest of these uh, gauntlets and the full recipe for um, full everything for Urn of Shadows. Mm -hmm. Then by about six minutes is when you actually get this. Hopefully you'll have a bit more, but the main thing you're getting the Urn of Shadows for is the uh, heal, the heal potential. Yes, yes. You, 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 you're not going to run into many mana issues uh, after right, about right. like... In, in, like very soon, you're gonna stop running into mana issues, and this is what I was yep. talking about. Like when I play Spirit Breaker, either I'm in base or I'm charging people. Yeah, uh, yep. this is pretty much why because I want to use up that mana. This, this, like pretty much three charges is all I can get, and I want to use them yep. as soon as possible. And secondly, uh, you need to have one clarity. Uh, the, yep. the thing is, you're always going to, back, to base, um, mm. so you can always have clarities. I don't, well, some people play a farming spirit breaker it, it does happen it, it's different play styles um so you can do that and in okay. that case you don't really need that many clarities you just one clarity will be enough sorry 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 in that case you need more clarities uh right. but it, the, when you play like me like if you just like charging people constantly super aggression then you don't need clarities but regardless okay. at four minutes or whatever that time is for raindrops you should get raindrops it's so Raindrop. good yeah, raindrops. It's so good on uh, Spirit Breaker. It's nearly uh, one mana per second. Uh, as you can see, you're only getting 0.4 mana per second from right. um, from Sage's Mask. Uh, 325 so instead of 24, I get 60. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of 24, yeah, it's yeah. it's yeah, it's almost like it's it's more than twice. Uh, it's yep. more than twice, and it's uh, less. It's 30% uh, less cost as well. And obviously, it makes you a lot tankier uh, from spell damage. So, okay. so can I just ask the, just to confirm the build order? So at the start, I would get the shield, the orb, and the tangos. Yeah. And then I would get boots. Yeah, I think boots is really important. Because it interacts with the the damage or, multiplier thing. Not not really looking towards the damage multiplier. More looking towards the chasing and uh, chasing yeah. capabilities. Because that's why you're the also orb. getting. Yeah, yep. it's a similar it's a similar thing. Now diving the tower like this is you've already the fact that you've made him use his mana to get back and oh 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 dear. Oh dear. If you'd had boots right now. I would have killed it, yeah. I can't remember. Maybe. <laughs> maybe could have killed it. Uh but the fact that you already made him jump away, um mm -hmm. the, the, you, your purpose uh, your Wait, purpose okay. for uh, yeah, yeah. Like you can keep charging him. You don't need to get back. You can keep charging him until you make make a rotation happen. And once you make a rotation happen, you've secured lane the lane for Sven a little bit more. Like if um, AA is not gonna go, uh, if this guy was his name, Omni Knight goes over here, then suddenly yep. PA doesn't have a healer, so this guy can actually make moves on the PA. And also, there's a lot less uh, sustain and damage, etc., 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 all that good stuff. So. Like, instead of walking all the way back to base, especially when you've already got mana, you should have made yep. sure that you had zero mana when you walked back to base. So right. it's, it's a lot of... Um, and I'm still level three, yeah. so the whole dying thing's still viable. Yeah, and, and also, like, you should have had the TP. You should have had the TP, the TP back to base once you run yep. out of... Uh, wanna run out of charge mana. All right, do you decide to charge this guy? I would have stayed a little bit longer in base just to 
just look for a more optimal target to mm. charge to, uh, rather than just charging somebody. It's going to be pretty funny, actually. I remember this moment. Wow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, that was a huge win. Yes. Except Sven is choosing not to farm the huge, maybe triple or quad stack. What level is he? Yep. He has He's level my brain. Five. Yeah, it's sad. And that's a kill for Invoker, but then Invoker is going to uh, haste him. Nice. Nice job. Like, you're not really making too many bad, mis big mistakes because Spir mm. Spirit Breaker is kind of a straight... I don't know if it's a straightforward or it's just like you're charging people and you're you're being as Slack says, you know, you're the fucking <laughs> your role. It's not carry support offlane. It's you know the fucker. The fucker. <laughs> <laughs> also, right here you could have you could have killed Omni. Um, yeah. Oh, I thought you had two charges, but you got two two charges from the urn. So, yeah, uh, from yeah, this got piece. It from him, yeah. <laughs> yep. But if I had boots, I would have won the chase earlier. Yeah, so there we go. Sorry? Uh, if I had bought boots first with the Venom, then I wouldn't have had to chase him so far. And uh, absolutely. Half of my health. Absolutely. You're in a totally better position right now, too. Yeah. Uh, well, y you um, should have seen that in the Dota 2 wiki pages, though. Yes. Uh, you just used this charge to get away from the. That page doesn't tell you the order to build things in, though, does it? I can't remember. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, because just, it shows you the items that you should get, but it's sort of, yeah, it's more the order that I'm not always clear on in terms yeah, of but what's optimal. Did I not tell you about the Dota buff page? Uh, yes, Dota buff, I, I, I know about. Yeah. Spirit Breaker. Uh, oh, there's so many. Okay, so if you go on to... So here you can see the most popular build. Don't ever... Uh, I can actually hear myself back. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, my headphones are actually falling apart. So that's oh, no worries. Um, no worries okay. at all. If it, um, if it does that, I'll turn it down every more. All right. Uh, it's fine now. Uh, so okay. don't ever go with this build because, uh, first of all, you can see that it's only 9% uh, of the times this is what's happening. Yep. It's very misleading. So you don't want to go... Uh, go via that one. But what you can do, obviously, is once you click more guides, you will see that these all these high MMR players, and you'll see what the build order they're going for. So one point in charge, two points in greater bash, and then two points in speed. So they kind of stay at one point in charge up until like uh, level was it level twelve, uh, and pretty much every single person is going the same route. So there's no there's no disparity in this. So you know, so one point in charge, one point in bash one point two in, points in bash i see and then two points in speed charge of darkness and then ulti and then maxing out they're sort of putting two points in bash and then maxing out speed i see so they don't Wait. bother with their second skill until later actually it's pretty much same for all of them so is this is unless except this guy actually did go for max charge of darkness level one huh i am sorry I miss. I didn't see the spell properly. This is not uh, yeah, cards. That's, uh, I was this really isn't... confused. There. <laughs> <laughs> but in my defense, <laughs> look, these both look exact, almost the same. <laughs> I was about to be like, I was about to say to you, uh, this is not the way I build. But I guess this is a high level play. So you obviously are maxing out charge of darkness first because you would be stupid not to. <laughs> right. So one only you're keeping one point in. Um, some people do point, put one point in imp empowering haste. Yeah, level five, yeah. one point in empowering haste. Yeah, that's how I build it as well. I, I put one point at level four, really. That's what, um, that's what I've been doing is like one, 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 or sorry, you, one, three, uh, two, and then maxing charge and then maxing bash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what you want to do as well. Uh, but this this right here, this page is misleading because it actually tells you I don't see. need to put any points in empowering haste, but you do want to put one point at, let's say, level four-ish. Anyway. Uh, so right here, let's see, this guy went offlane. Uh, because he went offlane, he did not get a Orb of Venom um, yeah. because it's offlane. But this guy, wait, did he go middle? I, I think 
this guy, this Norabov is confused because this guy... Um, oh, he like, mid a lot. Yeah, yeah, because you can see there's an invoker. So he was probably in mid a lot because of charging, and that's why he's got an orb of venom. And yeah. uh, you can see that he immediately, at uh, 30 seconds, he buys boots. So that's really important to get that movement speed. Wow, 30 um, seconds. Well, he, he's got he some like... gold left. Uh, no, he doesn't. Oh, he has yeah. no shield. That's why. He doesn't have a shield. Well, you, when you're playing that kind of like a ganker build, you don't need a shield. Um, you don't need a shield. I always build it for some reason, but I guess yeah, you so don't do need I, it. Because I got drummed into me by like multiple people that as a melee <laughs> carry or whatever should never leave yeah. base without a shield. I guess I guess that's that's a fair point. You don't really need a shield when you're playing a super ganker. It's really when you're in the offlane okay. when you need that shield because you're tanking creeps. Right. And, so that's a that's that, a so. fair point to write down as well. Yeah. If offlane yeah. and carry a shield. Yeah, if if, uh, if not, then just, just go for this uh, Orb of Venom. And obviously, you're not going to go for a Sentry Ward. So um, you can actually just start off with Gauntlets. Actually, I want to see what I built in my previous games because sure. um, just a quick one. Uh, what's it called? Sprite. Oh, spirit. That's Storm Spirit. That's Ember Spirit. That's Spirit Breaker. So uh, it doesn't really tell me, uh, right? So I've been ever since the Iron Talon, I've been going Iron Talon <laughs> because, because you can actually jungle Iron really. Iron Talon and everything. Yeah, yeah, you can jungle so efficiently. Uh, yeah, yeah, level one Iron Talon. So I probably went in the Iron offlane. Uh, I went in the offlane with the Iron Talon, and uh, yeah. So never mind. Let's not look at that too much. Uh, so when you go off lane, it's just, it's quite quite a different build. You can go Iron Talon plus um, uh, plus um, what do you call it? Tangos, not Iron Talon level one, uh, but like preparing for Iron Talon. You should be able to get the yeah. full Iron Talon by like half a minute, one minute, because uh, yeah. you do want to start off with a Stout Shield as well. So okay. Right. I think I Continue. might not do that build. <laughs> really no, no, no! Don't, <laughs> don't, don't worry about that build. Yeah. Don't worry about. It. Just start off. Just start off with. Uh, try not to go solo offlane in, as Spirit Breaker. Uh, just start yeah. off with so a the support or, ganking thing. Yeah, support ganking one. Um, because you're probably gonna have some some core in the offlane anyway in your bracket yep. anyway. So yep. you want to start off with an Orb of Venom. Uh, if if nobody's bought a courier, then probably you're gonna have to buy a courier. Uh, or uh, what do you call it? Wards, and then whatever gold you have left over, you want to buy some, some um, tangos, some region. All right. So very nice rotation once again. Um, yeah. So you've already started to help your team snowball. Uh, if you notice that you've been involved in, it says two out of the three, but I think you were involved in the third one as well, in that you actually did charged them uh, earlier on and yeah. uh, uh, contributed to the kill but it didn't actually say yeah the oh, okay so the it was the kill that invoker got on the um, oh, that's right. yeah I yeah but one. if you remember you'd already engaged their people here right. which is it's why just that we killed them 30 seconds later no 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 you you, you already eng engaged their people there and that's why this guy uh, was able to kill a solo um, AA because his rest of his team was dealing with you. So, uh, and right here you're giving them vision that that's allowing Invoker to keep right clicking him. So this is what I mean. Like you are involved in almost every single kill. Uh, you actually did get uh, 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 assist for this one because your um, you you you've, you had your um, charge of darkness debuff on him. So if you have a debuff on an enemy. And they okay. die, and you get a. Got to pat those stats. Huh? Got to yeah, pat yeah. those stats. <laughs> no, no, no. It's I'm just I'm just trying to say I'm just trying to yeah. say to you that you uh, the fact that you had Sphere Breaker was yeah. a big contribution to the fact to the to the fact that you guys actually snowballed this game and and you know yeah. destroyed the um, destroyed this game basically so easily like it was a, such a huge storm uh, because of you really. Okay, so it would be an even entirely. bigger stomp if I had a more efficient item build at the start, Probably. and that would have been great. Probably. Okay, now I'm running. Uh, you're not utilizing your uh, you're not utilizing your urn at all. You you've got uh, yes. maybe you used it once, maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. 
but you should always use it on the people you're chasing. Right? Hmm. That's one thing. And also, when you go low in HP, you should be using it as well. Hmm. All right. <sighs> it's not too bad right now to TP here or TP to this tower because there's two people TP'd here already. So this is going to have a huge TP time. So it's not too bad to TP here and then charge this guy. Uh, because if you start charging right now, it's going to take a long while. So it's not it's not super bad, but you can just charge anyway. He's already dead. Uh, see, this is slightly inefficient now that you've got the uh, charge onto a catapult when you could have charged uh, this guy. This is what no, I was saying. I, like, I'd already charged the one here, and then because he died, then it shifted to the catapult. No, no I, I know, I know, I know. What I mean yeah. is, what I mean is, like you saw that Slark is right here. This is when you clicked him, like almost when he's about to die. You know he's about to die, so you could have just waited, looked around on the map, wait yep. to see if somebody else yep, can somebody else, it. and then you can, yeah. All right, nice, nice. Looks like you are going for treads. Is that the right set of boots? Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, this is you. You get the general play style of um, of uh, spirit breaker. This is pretty much what you're supposed to do, and you're doing it. So it's all yep. it's all good. There you go. Charge. So right here, okay, that's good. Nice, nice. So you could have. About how that went because yeah. You, you could have. Decided and we didn't. <laughs> no, you. I mean, you could have um, healed up uh, Invoker. Um, uh, can you? All right, let let's just continue after after. Right here. As well, you could have, instead of yourself, you could have healed Invoker, and right here as well, you could have. It wouldn't have. It wouldn't have helped him because of that crit, anyway. So it's okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you are gonna die here. One crit, or not? No crits. Oh god. Lucky. Yeah, that's right. Survived on Super one hit lucky. point and ran away. Super lucky. Wasted a charge thing because I was going back to base anyway. Not necessarily because it is all could. Uh, he's not level six. Never mind. Wait, what? He is level six. That's strange. Uh, all right, now it's online. So his his alt wasn't on on his alt was on cooldown at that time. Anyway, uh, I don't think we really need to watch this replay anymore. Um, sure. It was mostly just slight improvement on item builds that you could have done better yep. in this game but otherwise and some efficient uh, efficiency efficiency wise things it's not a huge deal regardless you still managed to get level six at a decent timing you contributed a lot to the early game team fight if at this point your team lost this game it wouldn't have been because of you it would have been because you picked a um uh, your, your team wasn't able to utilize all that space uh that you were able to secure them and um yeah it would have been their fault, really. Like at this point, yep. Sven Sven is doing really horribly. Uh, it's like, well, it goes because of he it, because of the offlane situation that he was in. Uh, this yep. guy is already like uh, his net worth is more than Sven. Like look look at that. Sven is in the middle, and then this guy is your carry is way far away. And then let's look at <laughs> let's look at Invoker. What items does he have? He's going for. This is like some really retarded stuff right here. Uh, this is like a Quas Wex Exhort build. Uh, it's a new meta thing. No wonder I was so confused about his his items. Like I didn't, I couldn't figure out whether he was an Exhort Invoker or Quas Wex. Yep. And the reason is I'm because sure he, he's he actually. Can't figure it out either. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go another point in Quas after this. I, okay. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Let's, let's skip so, a little bit. Let's so, see. so the skill build is that you get two points in bash and then max charge. Is that right? <laughs> I think you can just get one point in bash and max charge. One point really? in bash and max charge. Uh, okay, that's uh, pretty much what I've been doing anyway. So that's. Fine. Uh, I also like having having one value point in um, 
I, I like the second thing as well, yeah. Wow, it's taking this guy ages to get level 12, dude. This is like... Oh, whoa, oh, okay, he put another po point in Invoke. Because he really needs that uh, 5 second, 12 second for cooldown. For the two spells that he's using. For, for the two spells with the minimum amount of damage and impact that he's using. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go, I, sh I there shouldn't you go. criticize because I'm a really bad Invoker. <laughs> No, it's fine. It's fine. If you're, <laughs> look, I'm I'm a horrible uh, meepo player. Not a horrible. I, right. I'm a poor meepo player. But I don't mm. assume to play meepo all the time. Like I play him if I random him. I play him, and that's pretty much how I learn meepo as well by randoming him. But randoming, I don't just yeah. pick meepo and go into a game and be like, oh, I'm good. Look at this. Look at this. He actually did put uh, the third point in in course, and now he's put like another point in. He's literally going. Exactly. Balancing everything. Well, yeah, he's, yeah, he's he's a totally balanced. You don't let one get too far ahead of the others. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Love it. <laughs> so, so the late game item builds really matter on Spirit Breaker, or is it just you can see the fact that you've <laughs> like, if it gets that far, you're sort of at the mercy of <laughs> how the rest um, of your team is playing. Not necessarily, not necessarily. You're you're doing a similar thing throughout the game. Even in team fights, after that, you become yeah. like a disrupting kind of a person. Like you're constantly stunning people all around. You're a super crowd control person. Um, now drums is okay. Is is good on Spirit Breaker, but I don't like the idea of S and Y. You're not that right clicking core. It would have been a lot better if you'd gone for, uh, even if you'd skipped drums and you'd have gone for a Silver Edge because the Silver Edge is so, simply so good against PA. Like, I play a lot of PA. Uh, PA oh, is my favorite duo. Passive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, okay. if somebody puts, no, 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 it not only disables her passive, right? First of all, it obviously disables the crit, right? You're not critting. And mm. uh, if PA is not critting, she's not doing mm. much damage. Right. Mm. On top of that, Silver Edge reduces the damage output by 50%. Mm. So literally, PA is a creep. Imagine right now, PA can't crit, and she's only hitting for, what is it, 75 damage, right? What is 75 damage? For five seconds, it's nothing at all. It's disabling mm. her passive, which is the ev evasion. It's disabling her crit. It's completely getting almost rid of her damage so you basically just removed PA from a fight for 5 seconds and in that 5 seconds anybody can kill her and somebody should kill her hmm. uh, you don't want to use it on Slark because he's got a dark pack and pretty much you don't want to use it on anybody else either And um, another thing which is important to keep in mind with um, Silver Edge is that not only it reduces the um, it not only reduces the damage from right click, but it also reduces damage from spells. It reduces every single damage output. So, for example, if you use it on a timber, uh, not only does it disable his armor and all that stuff, but it also mm. dis it, it also um, reduces his damage from chakra and his all his spells by fifty percent. And that is huge, right? So Silver Edge is such an undervalued item. Mm. 